Hey guys, good morning. Today we're going to be doing a team building and card overview of the LR Super Saiyan Goku and Super Saiyan Vegeta card. Now this is the one that will hell has a chance to go into Vegito or Super Vegito. So we're going to go and do a full review of the card and then we're going to jump into a full team building guide. Now if you guys already know about the card and don't want to hear about that, jump about five minutes into the video and you should be able to pick up with around the team building guide. You'll see me using DokkanBattleBuilder.com. Also, shout out to dbz.space, shout out to the wiki, and shout out to dokonbattlebuilder.com for all the use of the websites. So anyway, guys, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first off, we're going to talk about the base form. Now, this is the one that's going to be summonable from a banner. It's the internal rival rivalry, Goku and Vegeta. Now, this card has a leader ability of intelligence, type key plus 2, HP attack and defense plus 70%. Super attack is Kamehameha and Big Bang attack, which causes immense damage to the enemy, which is freaking awesome. Uh, passive skill, Saiyan Duo. Attack and defense plus 80% of the start of the turn. Key plus one whenever key is raised with rainbow key spheres. So I believe that means you're getting two key for every one rainbow key sphere, which is freaking awesome, which means you're never going to really have any problems as long as there's rainbow key orbs there. Link skills are Kamehameha, Saiyan Warrior Race, Saiyan Lineage, Experienced Fighters, and Prepared for Battle. He is part of the Majin Buu category, so you can run him on a Majin Buu category team if you like to. He's still really good to have on a mono intelligence team his leader ability is kind of all right for brand new players who are looking to take on any of the og leads or the 70 percent leads and possibly possibly the new well the 120 leads depends on really which one it is but he could become really beneficial for you especially with an immense damage modifier and a passive skill of attack and defense plus 80 percent his max stats are going to be um hp of 97 70 attack of 87 89 and defense of 48 79 is a 12 key multiplier of 140 percent now Doken awakens with 35 super vegeto medals from the strongest tag team this world edition event now, this event's pretty cool. It's only intelligence. Um, booze, kid booze anyway, will do additional damage for stages 1, 2, and 3. Fourth stage, it will not. Um, I would probably recommend bringing an extreme physical team. Let me know down in the comments below what teams you have had luck with. I believe a mono and uh, physical extreme team would probably be your best bet. Unfortunately, I don't have that on the JP side, so I can't actually do it. Um, I might purchase the purple stone and then maybe do it with a Korra because I do have full power Frieza. And I think I have a pretty damn good team to run with that. But I haven't decided yet. So also let me know down in the comments below which one do you think I should pick from the ones I don't have. I have most of them. If you guys know which, which units I have, I'll be doing a live stream most likely this weekend. And we can talk about it then. I'll probably do the purchase then. Um, but anyway, this is where you're going to get your 35 medals if you would like to. Um, well, obviously you're going to want to. To Doken Awaken, this guy, the base form of Goku and Vegeta, to their Super Saiyan variant. Now, this is Golden Tag Team, Super Saiyan Goku and Super Saiyan Vegeta. Their leader ability is Intelligence Type Key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 80%. Now, this is a really, really good leader ability. I would recommend at least getting them here if you can't go all the way with them. Or if, you know, if you're a newer player, the reason why you might not want to go and Doken Awaken to the LR variant is because their team cost might be too high for you. So keep that in mind as well when doing your team building. Uh, super attack is, again, Kamehameha and Big Bang attack, which also causes immense damage to the enemy. Passive skill is attack and defense plus 100% at the start of the turn. Key plus 2 whenever key is raised with Rainbow Key Sphere. Um, link skills are Kamehameha, Super Saiyan, Saiyan Lineage, Experienced Fighters, Prepared for Battle, and Fierce Battle. They're also only part of the Majin Buu ca uh, category. Uh, max stats are going to be HP of 12,630, attack of 10,466, and defense of 6,228. They have a high 12 key multiplier of 150%. Now, they will Doken Wicked to their LR variants with 35 of those same medals that I was just talking about from the strongest tag team. And they're going to need an, uh, another 35 medals from the other Super Vegito event, Supreme Fusion but, uh, Blazing Patara. This is going to be from level 3 Superlative Shine. You're going to have to go up against Super 2 five times in order to get all the medals. This one you can go through. If you're able to do the first one, you should be able to do the second one without an issue. Um, I don't see it being a problem for you. But uh, once you get all those medals, they will finally Doken Wake into their LR variant. They are Super Powered Fusion, Super Saiyan Goku, and Super Saiyan Vegeta. Now this is awesome. Their leader ability is now Patara Category Key Plus 3. HP and Attack plus 170%, which just makes them ridiculous. Uh, and Defense plus 130%, or Intelligence Types Key Plus 3, HP, Attack, and Defense plus 90%. Now if you saw my, t my uh, Super Saiyan 3 Bardock video, you know how awesome it is to have that Intelligence Leader ability uh, as a sub-leader sub ability to their primary Patara one. 
because that means they can have such OP units on their team like LR Gohan or Super Gogeta or any other ridiculous intelligence unit. I just, it's, it's ridiculous. Um, their super attacks are uh, Command Man and Big Bang Attack from 12 to 17 key, and 18 plus key is the final secret plan. Uh, they cause colossal damage to the enemy, raises attack for one turn, and causes mega colossal damage for the final secret plan. So the co colossal is just the Command Man and Big Bang Attack, which is awesome, and then 18 plus is raises attack for one turn, which is also great, and causes mega colossal damage. Passive skill, strongest duo, attack and defense plus 120%, that's just ridiculous at the start of the turn. So just that alone is ridiculous. Key plus two when key is raised with rainbow key sphere. When the conditions are met to do a Patara fusion, you're going to do a Patara fusion. We're going to talk about that in a minute. Uh, link skills are Kamehameha, Super Saiyan, Saiyan lineage, experience, fighters prepare for battle, fierce battle, and legendary power. So they have some really decent link skills. Uh, really, I mean, Kamehameha is a flat out buff, so it's nah, kind of whack. But you have Super Saiyan, um, experience fighters, which is coming more common, prepared for battle, which is always good, and fierce battle. So they do have some really good uh, leader uh, link skills. Their categories are both Patara and Majin Buu Saga. Uh, their max stats are HP of 19,663, attack of 13,490, and defense of 10,931. If you're going to do a base dupe system, their HP jumps up by 2,000, their attack jumps up by 2,000, and defense jumps up by 2,000, making them really ridiculous. And I know a lot of you will be doing base dupe system if you don't pull any dupes. Uh, what's even real crazier is their max stats. I mean, attack of 18,490 is just insane, base, base attack. Like they're they're insane in their defense, Jesus! They're literally they're literally gonna tank and truck everything that they possibly can. Um, Twelve key multiplier is one hundred and fifty percent. Twenty four key multiplier is two hundred percent. So their transformation when they meet the requirements, they transform into Super Vegito. A Super Vegito. He has, let's see, transformation into Super Vegito is unlike Giant Mode and Rage Mode that takes up a whole turn or more. The card actually becomes a new card with a new name. Super attacks, links, for etc. for the remainder of the fight. Furthermore, he does not gain invis invincibility either, and also can link with the other Super Vegito cards in rotation. Super Vegito does keep hidden potential boosts. Tremendous power multiplier is 3,000%. Counterattacks will still activate after an evade from the hidden potential system. Counterattacks can also be critical hits from potential, from hidden potential, which is freaking phenomenal. So, his when he becomes a fusion... He, um, he becomes a super, his, his leader ability stays the same. Super attack is big bang attack from 12 to 17 key and final Kamehameha at 18 plus key doing colossal damage and mega colossal respectively. Final Kamehameha also gives all allies attack plus 30% for one turn. His passive skill, Patara's Rebirth. Recover all HP once. Counter normal attacks with tremendous power. That's a 300% buff that I was talking about. Attack and defense plus 150% at the start of the turn. Key plus three whenever key is raised with rainbow key sphere. So he's just going to be ridiculous. Um, everything else is the same. Uh, except he has power bestowed by God now instead of um, infused fighter. So he loses two link skills and gains two others. It's pretty awesome though that he does. He is able to link with other Super Vegitos. Uh, Patara Fusion is will activate after six turns and HP is 50% or below. By the way, so those of you who were wondering, I should have probably said that a little bit earlier. So after six turns have passed, and you have HP at 50% or below with him on the field, he will transform into Super Vegito. So, it, that, that, I like it, but it's just like such a long time to wait for that card to come and make that available. But he is a super good unit, you know, like, it, it's awesome. Once it happens, it'll be phenomenal. Um, there is also the other unit. You know what's odd? Does he, he doesn't um, jump into the fusion category, does he? Yeah, that's interesting that he doesn't change categories when he does that. That would be awesome if he did. He sh I, I feel like once he does that, he should have additional category buff. But uh, whatever, you can't do anything about that. Um, well, we will be doing, by the way, for those of you who are wondering, we will be doing the Gogeta one um, in another video, maybe tomorrow. I had a little bit of extra time this morning to do this, so that's why I'm doing it. Um, so let's go over into the team building. Now, this is the basic uh, link buddies. Let me go ahead and switch over to my uh, uh, Dokum Battle Builder view. <laughs> that way it's a little bit bigger on your screen. Now, this is the Super Vegeta, or the Goku and Vegeta card. This is the LR variant. Now, his best linking buddy happens to be the Super, or uh, the Gogito unit, the physical one. So, that's pretty ridiculous. Um, he, they share link skills of Super Saiyan uh, Soldier Warrior, or you know, Experience Fighter, I believe it was. Kamehameha, uh, Prepare for Battle, uh, Fierce Battle, and Power Bestowed by God. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Uh, Legendary Power. So, they share all six link skills. So, these two are going to be the best for links. Um, honestly, I don't see you running them two on the same team. 
uh, unless you're doing like a Heroes Team with the new Vegito card. So maybe a Heroes Team, like a Super Team, would probably come in handy. Uh, that would be awesome. His other li good linking buddies are going to be LR Gohan for five link skills. So they, that's actually really awesome, the fact that they have uh, that Gohan links with him. Gohan finally has a really good linking buddy, and they're just ridiculous. And the other fact of the matter is, his secondary leader ability is the same as LR Gohan's. Let's just go check it out real quick. Yeah, HP attack and defense plus 90%. So you no longer need to run Gohan as your leader if you won't want to. Because these two will share the same exact leader ability and they link very well. So if you have LR Gohan, kudos if you got both of these cards. Because these are going to be ridiculous. So Gohan will get that additional buff that he would normally get from his own leader ability. Um, the other one is going to be the TR variant of the Gogeta card, and ha happens to be LR Broly. LR Broly is also a really good one, so you can go ahead and do that. They share 10%, uh, 3 key, 15%, so that's what, 25%, plus legendary power for 5,000. So overall, you have some good linking buddies, specifically really LR Gohan, one of the best ones you can get in-game. Now, in terms of a mono intelligence team, you have a lot of choices here, which is awesome. Um, unfortunately, there's not a lot of Patara units on a uh, intelligence team, but we can still do what we want to do with this team. So we have the LR variant here. I brought the TUR variant to represent your friend LR if they have them. Um, you're going to want, you could probably pair him with LR Gohan if you don't have him. There are some other good units, any of the other standard units. Um, personally, I would want to do the Super Saiyan 3 Bardock with him. Uh, they do share four uh, link skills, Super Saiyan. Uh, I believe this is uh, Experienced Fighter, Prepared for Battle, and Super Fierce Battle. So that's a really good link skill set to share. But um, obviously the best one is going to be having your uh, Gohan, your LR Gohan, and your Super Gogeta. Plus remember, well, they are going to be beneficial for themselves with their leader ability uh, since they are part of the Patara category. So they're going to give each other their ridiculous buffs and then everyone else is going to get the 90% buff. Now, in terms of rotation, you're going to want your Pandel, and you're going to want your Kid Gohan for those regular buffs. And then you can throw Buff Koo on there. I would prefer Buff Koo just because he does have Super Saiyan, but you can also throw Whis if you don't have him. Any of these guys are interchangeable. Or, if you don't really want to do any support, because honestly, the key, you don't really need too much key because they're really good at generating key. Um, you can get rid of Gohan because you don't need that, even though he does have a good, a nice attack and defense buff. You don't really need these guys, and you can just throw... The ridiculous characters in here you know i just threw the the, the primary characters that, I, that you would typically have on a team just to show that they're really good obviously super saiyan 3 bardock is one of my favorites and i don't have lr gohan so if you're not trying to do an lr team you could get lr gohan out of there throw bardock on there super saiyan 3 bardock on there yes i know it's very hard to have the doken fest exclusives as well this team would literally be made up their primary units are going to be made up of all doken fest exclusives but that's typically how it's been going anyway um, this is probably going to be an ideal team without an LR in it. Anything else is going to really work out for you, though. A lot of these guys do share some good links. I think Vegeta is the one that shares the least amount of links. Um, actually, it's Vegeta and Trunks. So they are kind of like, uh, they're A tier where you would want this for like your S tier. Like any of this setup would probably be your S tier. Um, and then after that S tier, the A tier would probably be the Vegeta and Trunks because they do hit hard. They're just, you know, older units that aren't going to hold up in the meta as well as these newer units. But honestly, that's what I would do personally. Um, since I do have the intelligence, which I will be going for the physical unit because I don't have the physical unit. If I get him, then I'll, it'll probably uh, persuade me to get a, use a different um, purple stone. Uh, we'll, we'll use my purple stone on something else. Uh, also, I haven't purchased that one yet, so we'll have to wait and find out. We'll see what I do with that. <laughs> um, the next one is going to be the Patara category. Now, these are most of the units on the Patara category, at least the really good ones, really, really good ones. So I'm sorry if you guys were looking for like a B tier team, is I'm only doing like an S to A tier team. Now, here is I'm, I'm using the new variants of the Super Vegito, uh, the Rose, and the Super Saiyan Vegito Blue. So, or the Vegito Blue, however you guys want to call it. Now, it's really up to you on how you're going to want to build this team. Um, obviously, you're going to have your LR variant. You're going to have your friend. I didn't put him in this actual team, but you're going to have a friend up here as well. Um, if you're trying to do linking abilities, you're going to want to have the primary units that you typically would have. You have these three over here that link very, very well with each other, or these four over here that link very, very well with each other. However, you want to have that set up. Obviously, base it on typing, because you never know what type of opponent you're going to go up against. If you have, like, an agility opponent, you're probably not going to want to bring this Rosé. You could probably bring the agility Rosé, um, swap one out for another. But these four are a really good trifecta to link with each other. Um, honestly, Merge and Masu might not be so much just because of the lack of link. There's one lack link skill. Um, honestly, I'd probably do this. These two here, these two would be your two subunits if you would like to. Because this is an LR. 
Then you have Super Vegito and Super Vegito Blue. And then you have these guys on rotation. And so again, it's up to you. The reason for the Patara stuff is because, I mean, look at the link skills he shares. He does not share that many link skills, three at most. If I'm forgetting anyone, let me know in the comments below too. I don't mean to like, you know, say that not that this is the best team overall. Uh, this is one that I found to be one of the best. Just from skimming through all of everything from dbz.space underneath the Patara, uh, Patara category, I might have I might have missed one or two units. I don't think I did. I did I did make sure I read through everything, but this is what I'm thinking anyway. Obviously, you want the base form Vegito because he's really good for uh, buffs. He's going to be one of the best support units you're ever going to have for this type of a team. But honestly, this is what we're going to look at. Any variation of these four units, and then these two units is going to be primary for you, and then the Super Vegito or Super Saiyan Vegeta and Goku. Now, if you want to. Then they are the very hard hitting units you could put them on primary rotation i still would probably recommend to have these two together because they share four link skills instead of three 10 percent 2500 15 and two so they share a lot of decent link skills when we switch over here i th think they lose one yeah, they, they lose their uh, key link so the key link is really what's going to kill here unfortunately that's why you probably want these two to be linked together um you also have key here with uh goku black a key link there anyway um or the lr variant over here of rose and zamasu that might be a good link skill for you um or super saiyan rose in general all these guys are really good to link together they're not the most optimal because there's a lack of link skills i think um uh, merge zamasu is the only one that doesn't share the best link skills with him because he only has one link skill and it's probably fierce battle it is fierce battle so you can link him with any of these other units and you're probably gonna be good i would probably recommend doing one of these two though um rose or uh, rose and zamasu so, overall, not a horrible team. Um, you're probably not going to want to run this guy over here, so it's probably going to be, set, honestly, it's probably going to be set up like this. Um, if you want these to be on your primary rotation, you can. Um, I was just basing it off of link skills in terms of primary rotation. You don't need to do it that way. But, yeah, really good team setup over here, guys. Uh, I do like it, though. I don't think Patara has, I really don't think Patara has uh, a great potential as of yet. We don't have enough Patara fusions for us to make amazing teams. Um, you literally have to have all the optimal units, all the Doken Fest exclusives, and LRs in order for this to work. But hey, you know what? That's what it is. Uh, we're going to go over here now, and we're going to talk about a uh, Majin Buu category team. Now, obviously, you're going to have your Super Vegito here as the leader. Um, and there's a lot of good choices. Now, this is all the Super Saiyans. You have the one LR over here. You don't need to have an LR. Um, but I tried to pick all the really, really good units. Now, these three are going to be interchangeable with each other. You can have all three of them together. You're going to have this guy. He does, you know, it's funny. He links really well with this Gotenks over here. Um, the base form Gotenks. He actually links better with the base Gotenks than he does with the Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. Um, so in terms of this category, that's probably going to be one of the best ones you can link him with because I don't see him linking with anyone else for more than four or four or more except for him. And they share four link skills. Uh, let's see. I said that already. Super Saiyan, Saiyan Blood, um, Prepared for Battle, and Fierce Battle. So they're giving each other three key and 25% attack buff. So Super Saiyan Gotenks, you may have been replaced um or your partner may have been replaced with this guy over here for this team specifically now it doesn't mean that you have to um the super saiyan 3 gotenks still does link with the super saiyan gotenks for four key which is really awesome which is a 45 percent attack buff but you could also throw this trunks over here which is a 30 percent attack buff which isn't horrible um you do have majin vegeta again same problem he doesn't have as many linking buddies he does link for three with uh, base form trunks which i have on there but it's only three key and ten percent so you could do that if you want to. We do have the Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku, who's here as well. Um, we do have the other Super Great Saiyan Man 2, the Dokkan variant of him. And we have the Super Vegito. Now, this Gotenks is just a whore because he's awesome. He links so well with everyone here except for the Majin Vegeta. Um, so it's really difficult to say where you're going to want to run him on the team. I'm sorry, I didn't realize that this was off, off the screen. Um... <laughs> So uh, this is really what we're going to talk about now. Um, this is going to be your primary unit. You're probably going to have Super Saiyan Gotenks here. His other best linking buddies um, are, you're probably going to end up having, having him with the Super Vegito, um, just because this is going to be your primary team. So you're probably going to have him with Super Vegito, and then Super Vegito with, um, uh, with maybe Gotenks, because they do share five key links. Uh, and that's going to be a primary setup. We're going to actually do it like put it over here so that way it looks a little bit better. Um, and then on the on the rotation over here, you could do whatever you want. You could throw really whoever you want on this for support. Um, that's going to give good support. Or you could just 
throw all your ridiculous OP units. I mean, like, you can have the Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. There's nothing wrong with having Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks and the Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku. And then one of your other favorite units, like if you have LR Mars and Vegeta, something like that. Because your primary slots are going to be taken up by Super Vegito, both your friend and yours. Uh, the LR variant, if they're going to be, if he's going to be on that team. And the uh, Super Saiyan Gotenks, who also seals, which is definitely beneficial. And then on rotation, because these guys hit so hard, I think they're, I honestly think, I don't have the math on it, so I can't tell you guys officially, but I'm pretty sure these guys will out-damage the amount of extra damage you're getting from support units. But um, that's my opinion on that. Um, I think we have, I have one more. I did another Majin Buu team building one that, uh, specifically with the Boo and the Kid Boo, if you want to throw them on a primary team, you would have your this guy over here for primary rotation. You'd probably throw him up over here with the LR uh, Goku and Vegeta, Super Saiyan Goku and Vegeta. Then you could have your Majin Boo and Boo Han because they are really good units. And then this could be your uh, uh, other rotation if you would like to. You don't have to do it that way. I just figured I'd throw it in there real quick just so that way you could have a Boo and Boo Han team. I'll add onto that Majin Boo arc team just because some people like to run them. Now, this is going to be one of my primary recommendations for a um, Mono Intelligence slash Patara category team. Now, you're going to have two of these guys as your lead does, you know, typical. Um, in terms of support, you can have Turles and the Korra over here. Uh, there are other units you could throw in there for support, like maybe the Buffku. The Buffku would also be a good one. He's also Super Saiyan. I just wanted to throw just a couple in there that I have found that are typically off of what I typically recommend. Um, let me bring them down a little bit so that way you can see them. Um... Uh, these three over here are going to be primary, essentially rotated out for one another. Uh, if you're trying to do a mixture anyway, or depending on how you have how many units you actually have, this is more for those of you who are looking for a really good A to S tier team, um, or really more S tier team. And if you don't have every single unit in game, um, any of the Super Vegitos, the base form, all well, the actual Super Saiyan Super Vegitos, this one or the agility one are going to be interchangeable. The physical, the strength, and well, the strength I don't believe has a token awakening yet to the god, but the strength, the physical, and this tech one are all it could be interchangeable for one another. And the rose and the agility rose are both can be interchangeable. Now they're all part of the Batara category. They can all benefit from his major leader ability, or you can get the intelligence uh, key buff or all the full stat buff and key buff. Uh, really up to you on how you're going to want to run it. But this is probably going to be something that I could recommend. Uh, having one of these three linking here, personally, they're really they're all really good. Um, I'll probably say LR Gohan just because he's still really ridiculous, um, or Gogeta depending on what type of event. A Dokkan event that has like a physical uh, boss, you're probably going to want to bring Gogeta just because he's going to do additional damage to him, uh, neglecting his type. Um, you're gonna these three over here are interchangeable. They all link very well with each other. Obviously, you're gonna probably want to have uh, the Vegito Blue and the Super Vegito, uh, just because they do share that additional link for power bestowed by God for an additional attack plus 25 uh, 2500. But it's really not that bad. They are all really good units. All three of these are really good units. But that's just my recommendation for a team on how you could build it with really with your really good units, uh, so that way you can mix and match between your Patara category and your intelligence units. Um, anything that I was talking about throughout the video, you. You can always put into this team with them as a leader except for any majin buu category that is going to be kind of a mistake if you try to do that because he will not give Ma uh, the majin buu arc any type of buffs except for the majin buu category but the reason is because his leader ability's leader ability is only for patara category and intelligence types even though he is part of the uh, majin buu category he will not fit the actual need for that leader skill so you can't use Majin Buu. I mean, you can if you want. Like, you can throw on the Buhan here if you want to. The Bo Buhan and Kid Buu, uh, they won't get the actual leader ability buff from the Vitara, but they will at least get the intelligence. And with that being said, you could also build a really good extreme team with him because you could always throw that Janemba in there, and you could throw another good linking buddy with Janemba if you want to. I mean, maybe I'd merge Zamasu. So you could have all you could have your extreme guys over here. I mean, Janemba and Zamasu probably aren't going to be the best linking buddies overall, but you could do an extreme with, with this guy over here and then just have him off rotation and then throw maybe like Tarlis in the middle and you have your friend if you really like the extreme I mean it's only going to be a 90% buff you're probably going to be better off if you have the kid boo as the leader but you can do it I just want to let you know that you can do it um, but overall guys that's it thank you for joining me here today um, let me know if I missed anything if you have any other recommendations any other teams that you've been running and stay tuned for tomorrow's video because I'll probably be going over the physical one but anyway guys thank you for joining me here today make sure to subscribe if you're new and I'll catch you all later peace